The year is 1972, August 20. A legend is born this day. Raised by God-fearing parents in a serene ambience, the young man will start school in Pipretri Primary School. His industry will see him attend Notre Dame Minor Seminary School. For the young man who was so good, it is therefore not surprising he will make it to the University of Ghana, where he will be offered the prestigious program Administration. As consistent as he has always been, he will excel with a distinction. This will bring to his doorstep a scholarship. But in a rather bizarre fashion, the young man would decline this awesome offer. Instead, will head to Bolga to help the family business prosper. Here, his business acumen would be brought to the limelight. Hitherto, a truck had to be sent to the south to buy drinks for distribution in Bolga. His rebranding and increasing sales will see the company bring truckloads of drinks for distribution. Relentless as he is, he would move his distribution across the nook and cranny of the region with an extension to the northeast and some parts of the upper west region. This accounts for back-to-back -back gold accolades from Guinness Ghana Breweries Limited. So many citations he will earn that are unprecedented. Thousands of people will feed their families because of his industry. On record as the largest employer of workers in the Upper East aside the public sector. His philanthropy, though low-key, is so much. Countless orphanages have felt your kind heart. Scholarships, school fees, and numerous water projects in rural areas are but a fraction of your benevolence. The attention of the whole world ought to be drawn to the activities of the young investor. How I wish I had ample time to complete the full biography, for this is just but an abridged version for the occasion. Let's all hail Dr. Kenneth Anewena. Long live Dr. Kenneth Anewena. Long live Lesken. This biography is unauthorized. <laughs>